Hello guys, my name is Sonar. In today's video, we're gonna talk about DJI Mini 3. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored, so DJI is not paying me to make this video. Another disclaimer, I'm not going to share official specs in this video. These are my personal thoughts and my guesses about the upcoming DJI drone. So if you wanna check official specs, this is not the right video for you. But if you want to have an idea what the final specs might look like on the DJI Mini 3, you might want to stay tuned. DJI released the Mini 2 drone in November 2020, just a year after the original DJI Mini. And these both drone weighed less than 250 grams which made them really attractive because either you don't need to register them or you can fly in the restricted areas. DJI Mini 2 was a huge upgrade over the original DJI Mini. It's able to record in 4K and has Ocusync 2.0. DJI Mini 2 didn't get active tracking which was kind of a bummer because everybody was expecting that and all the Spark even had active tracking and I think DJI has made a kind of a move here to sell their higher end models because DJI Mini 2 is really capable drone with nice footage quality and it's compact it's under 250 grams and you can fly in the restricted area so I think they saved that specs for their bigger drones. The reason why there is already rumors about the upcoming DJI mini drone is because there is a competition going on. In case if you haven't heard a company called Hubson has just released a drone which is called Xeno Mini Pro. I'm gonna put the specs of the drone over here so you can check them from here and as you can see from these specs this drone is promising. So what does this drone mean? I mean there is a competition right now. I think that's why we are gonna see DJI Mini 3 or 2S quite soon because DJI don't wanna give away the market to these brands. I think they want to control the entry level drone market. And because of this reason, I don't know if it's gonna call DJI Mini 2S or Mini 3. I think DJI wants to just release a drone in front of this drone so they can, you know, keep the market under control. But as you can see, this drone is offering so much, so which is kind of a good thing because as a consumer, if there is a competition, that's always a good thing because then we are getting better specs from these drones with almost the same price. So no complaints about that for sure. So you might already have a question mark in your head after this information and which is like when are we gonna see the upcoming drone and I believe it's my personal guess though upcoming DJI mini drone will be released in September. Another question which comes to your head already about NIV drones is the price of course and as you know DJI mini 2 is costing $450 and I think we are almost gonna see this price range on the upcoming drone so the Neve drone, I don't know the name, 2S or 3, whatever, it's gonna cost around $450 or $500 in my opinion and the price of the DJI Mini 2 will drop for sure. So if you're in the market to buy a drone right now, I suggest you to hold a little bit and you might maybe want to get even the DJI Mini 2 with a lowered price and which would make really sense because it's really nice drone. I mean, and I think you might want to even seal the deal with $300. I, but I mean, early to say. Before we further ado guys, if you liked what you have seen so far, please crush the like button. And if you're interested about this kind of content, please crush the subscribe button as well. So what about the specs of the upcoming DJI Mini Drone? I believe upcoming DJI Mini Drone will see camera upgrade and potentially it might use the 64 megapixel DJI Pocket 2 sensor. Current DJI Mini model is shooting 30 frames per second 4K and we might see 60 frames per second in the upcoming model. We might also see 1080 120 frames per second slow motion. So long story short, for the upcoming DJI Mini Drone, we might see a better camera with better image quality with 
higher frame rates. Speaking of higher frame rates and better footage, as you know, DJI Mini 2 has Ocusync 2.0. DJI Mini 2 has two antennas and it needs two more to have Ocusync 2.0. So most probably we're gonna see Ocusync 3.0 to being able to have better image quality and also higher frame rates. Also with Ocusync 3.0, it will have better flight characteristics. So what about the obstacle avoidance? Of course, it's not gonna have 360 degrees obstacle sensing, but I believe it's gonna have front and rear sensors and another exciting future we will see most probably in the upcoming drone is the active tracking active tracking is a software future and it's a bummer dji mini 2 doesn't have it and i kind of understand dji didn't want to maybe put this to their smaller model which costs less than the bigger models to being able to sell those bigger models dji cannot hold it anymore they have to put the active tracking to upcoming dji mini drone because hobson Zeno mini pro has it i mean it's not called active tracking it's called object tracking but it's kind of the same thing i think there is a patent issue here so if they have put it already and if you want to compete with these other drone brands you have to have active tracking in the upcoming drone so for sure we're gonna see active tracking on the upcoming model which proves competition is a good thing dj cannot hold this future for their bigger models anymore since other brands are providing this future in their drones dj has to add this feature to their mini drones as well Another thing I think what DJI has to do with the upcoming DJI mini drone is the controller. I think DJI has to change the form factor of the controller of the upcoming DJI mini drone because it doesn't make any sense to carry a bigger controller than a drone. Selling point of the DJI mini is the size factor so controller shouldn't be bulky and big I think they should zip it out these were all my personal thoughts about the upcoming dji mini drone and i'm going to share more information once i have them so crash the subscribe button if you don't want to miss those what do you think about my thoughts about upcoming dji mini drone and what would you like to see also in the upcoming dji mini drone please drop a comment down below that's it for today if you liked the video please crash the like button and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one